Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antique Serena. My name is Walter O'Neill. I'm Sandra. And this uh, lovely one here is uh, Sandra. Now, in today's video, I'm going to do a stock finding video. So, a bit later on now in the film, you're going to see some of the stock I've bought. However, Sandra here would like to say a personal message uh, to a couple of people. So, I'll hand over the floor to Sandra. Hi. Right. Jeremy and Simon popped in the shop while I was away on holiday and they very grateful well, what we were like very kindly yes very kindly give Edward 25 pounds a week to spend in the shop I am absolutely over the moon with it thank you very much guys and I had I'm not very good but I've had a beautiful silver bracelet which Edward will talk over about in a minute it's a sterling silver figural bracelet uh, guys see that? it's solid silver sterling Gorgeous. And she had something else to go with. I definitely had something else to go with it. I've made the most of uh, my gift and I've had a copper plaque. This for is my a hallway wall. Copper craft. It's uh, made in the old way, hammered copper um, with the Welsh dragon and the words Cymru. Absolutely love it, guys. I am over the moon with your gifts. And yeah, this is definitely going on my hallway wall. And the bracelet, as I will tell you, will my good mouth. So here's a personal gift for there and something that's very close to my heart which is where I live in Wales. I would like to add something guys. She's been offered gifts off loads of people um, and turned them all down. It was only that Jeremy and Simon come in the shop and actually handed the money over and said let her choose something for herself. Yes. She's <laughs> turned down loads of gifts off people yeah. so I don't want anyone to get offended of where she <laughs> said so, no she yeah. don't want the money. She's trying to be modest. We're not doing the videos for payment and no. for money and things. We do them because we love them. Um, and she was just offered money now to buy herself something uh, in place of a pair of candlesticks and said no because she don't want people to feel they have to pay for gifts for her. However, I do love the gifts I've now got. But <laughs> Jeremy and Simon <laughs> didn't really leave much choice. No. <laughs> and she is very grateful. I am, guys. Thank you very much. All right, you yeah. done that? Yeah, I'm done. Anyway, guys, right, back to business. <laughs> I have just had come through the shop. It cost me thirty pound. A real good find. Oh, yeah. Basically, somebody came in the shop and said, "I got some Welsh Rugby Union memorabilia." And I said, "All oh, right, yeah, bring it in. What, what is it?" And he said, "I want thirty quid." And in fact, he wanted he wanted an offer. And he turned around and he said, what about 20 quid? And I said, well, I'll give you 30. And what I got is, every year they send off, or every time they change the uniform, they send off to the cotton mill some rough ideas, and the cotton mill send back the designs, and little samples of the embroidery and on material and pictures of what the quit's going to look like. I have got loads of examples of the different kits uh, that uh, were offered uh, for our selection, including a letter from the cotton mill to the WRU. Um, I got all that last morning, so Welsh Rugby Union fans, you're going to love it. I'll put that in the film for you in a bit. And I also, in that package, had the seating plan for the Frank Bruno and Lewis fight, boxing fight, a few years back. So this is all from 1994, so it's got a good bit of age too. So, but you'll get to see all that later on. Just thought I'd let you know. So we're going to leave it there now because the shop's been overrun this morning. I've been really busy. Um, we have a cup of tea with Sandra. She's just got back from Puff Call. Um, and then we'll carry on the film a bit later, guys. So I'll speak to you soon. Look at the way you squeeze from right? I'm going to end with him. the desk. You want to say goodbye for Yeah, now? bye. See you soon. That was me squeezing out. <laughs> okay, guys. So I'm home now, obviously, as you can see. This here is what came into the shop today and I paid £30 for it. So, shall we reveal? Now, first things first, we have, as soon as I opened it, a bit of a fan right here, we have the floor seating plan for the Bruno v Lewis boxing match. Uh, Checks made payable to Welsh Rugby Union uh, of Cardiff and we have this would frame up really nice for a boxing collector 
And there's the floor plan with a few other little details on there for the Bruno Lewis fight. Um, no, I vaguely remember that. I'm sure Frank Bruno lost that one. Um, but that was in there as well, which I thought was quite cool. Now, let me find the letter first and read the letter to you. So I have an invoice here, or a letter, company headed paper. Cotton Traders Limited, please deliver straight away many thanks. Sports Division to Tim Jones from Paul Goulds, fax number WRU, 28th of the 9th, 1994. Company WRU, Welsh Rugby Union. Um, Tim, examples as per our discussion, the maximum mid midge area is 2.5 metres, so both are approximately exactly to scale. Await your comments, kind regards, Paul. Now basically what this is, is correspondence between the WRU, Welsh Rugby Union, and Cotton Traders Limited, where they send in the designs for the Welsh Rugby kit. Uh, to be approved and made, and they've sent a load of samples. We got some samples of the WRU feathers. Then we start coming up with all different, all different um, full page illustrations of kit. These are all obviously different illustrations. Then of course we have an illustrated embroidered armband. That's all embroidered in uh, the silks or whatever they used. It's really pretty. Um, we come up to quite a few mounted uh, designs with the different types of dragons. So you've got the different t-shirts with the different dragons and the uh, different armbands. These would frame up a treat. If I was to photocopy the letter and put the letter with each one of these, um, they would frame up absolutely wonderful. Didn't realize there were so many different variations of the kit and so many different variations of dragons. What the next piece is, guys, you have the printed dragons here, which are the designs. Then down here we have all the embroidered silks, all the different ones of these done here in different materials. So they're all embroidered in silks. Again, more designs. Now, this is quite an interesting little job lot, guys. 1994, so already we're talking 23 year old. That's pretty much the end of it. But you've got all these different designs. These are samples between and correspondence between the WRU and the Cotton Traders Limited. Now this was salvaged out of a skip by a demolition company who then brought it into my shop this week. Now I'm not a big fan on sports. I know I'm Welsh and I don't follow rugby. Shoot me, I don't care. Never been that big on sports, or not rugby and football anyway. Um, but I did like them. Now I didn't know the value. I'll be honest with you, I didn't have a clue. Um, he wanted twenty pound, or he suggested twenty pound, and I said, "Well, that's a bit cheap." I said, "I'll give you thirty and take the gamble myself. It'll either be something really good, or it's going to be nothing at all." Now, without this letter. I don't think they're anything at all. But with this letter showing that they are actual designs of the actual team kit between the WRU and the supplier, then I think that is a really nice bit of Welsh Rugby Union memorabilia. Now what do I put on it? Truthfully, I haven't got a clue. I personally feel that if I was to photocopy the letter between the, the two companies and sell each, un, you know, each mounted uniform, 
with a copy of the letter, I could probably get between 30 and 50 pound a card, in my opinion. Photocopying the letter would be neither you nor they, that's nothing. Which would mean I'm talking quite a few hundred pounds for this uh, portfolio. Or I could sell it as a job lot and just chuck 150 quid on it or 175 pounds on it and see what sort of offers I get. I haven't quite decided yet. I do think it's quite special. I've looked around and I can't find another. The fact this uh, gentleman saved it from going in a skip, he was demolishing one of the buildings. He was a crane worker, demolishing it. And he salvaged this and some other sports memorabilia from the skip. Now I do believe, framed up, and I have got many, many nice old crames that have come off car boot sales for a pound with printing, framed up with a nice mount, this is going to be 25 or 30 pound. And it's going to cost me a pound, maybe 150 for the mount. The frame is free because I've already bought the frames years ago for a pound or 50 pence. But even if you want to say a pound for the frame, because they come off a car boot sale, and a pound or pound fifty for the mount, that's probably going to be 25 or 30 pound for this seating plan. It's a nice bit of boxing memorabilia. <clears throat> Shows you where everybody was seated and everything. Even the pricing. All the way from £28 to £260 a seat. That's a lot of money. But what I find quite strange with this was you're talking Frank Bruno, obviously boxing um, ring. Uh, because obviously they've held the fight in the stadium, in the rugby stadium, they've used the, um, the stadium for the seat in and obviously put the ring in the centre. They've actually made their check to the Welsh Rugby Union Arms Park in Cardiff. So it's quite an interesting little piece. So as a job lot, really is quite something. Um, as I've said, value-wise, I'll probably get a couple of hundred pounds for it all, to be honest with you. I'm going to probably chuck that up for the 175, 195, whatever, see what offers I get. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if I don't see that a Welsh Rugby Union fan sees this and emails me or texts me for a best price. As for this Frank Bruno piece, that's going to get framed and that's going down the shop and I may chuck 30 quid on there and see what offers I get. But when you consider I paid £30 for the entire package, that's going to pretty much cover it. Then we have this wonderful little package here. And to be totally honest with you, I think if there's a pub out there that does really well on all the Six Nations matches and things, don't tell me you wouldn't like to invest a few hundred pounds in getting all this framed up beautiful and putting it all around your lounge ready for the Six Nations battle. I know you'd be the only pub uh, with it. So, we'll see what happens. Leave a comment, guys, if uh, you're interested. Um, other than that, when I find time, if I find time, it'll end up going on my website. If I don't find time, it'll probably get put away in my attic or in my office for a couple of years until I do find time to do something with it. Um, little update on how the shop is going, guys. How do I put it? I don't need eBay at the moment. Let's just say that. I'm really pleased with the shop. It's going very well. Um, quite shockingly, without being offensive to anybody in my local area, I thought a little village would only, you know, I'd only be able to sell the small jewellery and the smaller antiques. So I've been keeping the price down in the shop. But I put in a few high ticket items, if you like, this week. And a gentleman walked into the shop, made me a bid, and bought one ring for £800 cash out of his pocket. Literally, walks in, I'll have that, that, and that, and what's your best price on that? Oh, no, I'll give you £800 for that. And handed the cash over, not even card, guys. So, safe to say, there's money in the village. Um, I was really dubious, Did I, should I go to Abbey, should I go Cardiff, should I go Ponty? And I decided against it and went to Mountain Ash. 
And so far guys, um, genuinely it has been the best decision I have made since I started dealing in antiques. I just pray that it keeps on going. But what shocked me was that there are people willing to spend a thousand pound on one ring and pay for it cash there and then. I didn't think anybody had that type of money around at the moment with um, the recession and everything else, but obviously they have. Um, so we obviously we work in some more high ticket items to go down there. Um, but all I can say guys is the shop at the moment is really, really doing well. I don't know if it's curiosity, just bring them in and then they're liking what they see, um, or whether it's going to be the, a trend for a bit, or whether it's going to be the way forward. Um, but I don't know how many people out there like me can't walk past an antique and jewellery shop for curiosity and gotta go in. All, all I have to do is keep, keep what we on with the contents and the presentation. And so far, yeah, best decision I've made. And to be honest with you, if it keeps going like this, I won't need eBay again. Uh, so fingers crossed, it does. Sorry about that guys, battery died on the camera. As I was saying, I, I really am hopeful that it keeps going like this. Um, it really is nice to go to, to work in the morning in the shop and feel proud and see people's reactions when they come into the shop. Um, it's, well, it's my dream, as soon as I can put it. And so far, it's, uh, it's working, guys. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to make the um, competition video now which will be published before this video, so quite strangely enough, you've already seen the results. Um, so I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed having a look at these uh, pieces. We had loads more come in the shop, and I will um, show you over the next few days. I had a really nice set of books, 27, all on the Wild West and the Chiefs and the Indians and everything all with tool leather covers, really nice set of books. Um, so, I'll leave it there as I was saying. If you've enjoyed the video guys, I would appreciate a like and a share. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and leave a comment below just to let me know you've subscribed. I'll give you a thumbs up then. Um, you'll find me on Facebook. I have a page on the group Antiques Arena. You'll find me on eBay. Just run a search by seller for Antiques Arena clearance. I'm not listing a lot at the moment, but I should have a hundred items or so on there at the moment. You'll find me on my own website, antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com. Um, or you can find me at number 78, Oxford Street, Mountain Ash, CF453, Hotel Bravo. Look forward to seeing you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.